My name is Kelly Rainwater and I am the sanctuary keeper of the Chapel of the Divine Mother here in Woodside, California. The chapel is a creation that came to me um, through a conversation with two friends of mine, two very dear friends of mine, um, back in 2005. First of all, I'd like to say the Divine Mother is, um, you know, humans, our minds make up concepts. Um, it's a word that we use to describe something that is a force in our lives that is nurturing, holding, accepting, and asking us to constantly be with what is in our lives and not try to change that, not try to fight against it, not try to make it something we don't want it to be. Uh, it's a force. It's a state of consciousness that anyone can tap into, anyone can invite into their lives. Um, for me, I don't see it as a woman sitting in the sky um, or necessarily anything in physical form, although she is contained within physical form. She is energy that's within us. She's energy that's without. Um, but mainly, she's a state of consciousness and a force, a relationship. Um, a relationship with how things communicate within ourselves and within the world that can manifest things and create things in our lives. Today's um, religions, which many of them are actually, as we know, struggling, um, they've been based on a premise that certain people are the only holders of knowledge. They're the only access to a transcendent, like a divine that, that we think is in a heaven that's up somewhere else that's not here in this planet. Okay? That we're humans, that we're flawed, that our physical form is flawed, that we're sinned. Um, there's a lot of degradation about who we are and shame as humans and that we can't really connect unless we go through these, these people, these special people who only have that knowledge. That is a certain way of experiencing and seeing the world. When I say a state of consciousness, what I mean is just as, you know, whoever's viewing this may walk around their life kind of experiencing things, that's a state of consciousness. So however you walk around experiencing your life, that's how we've experienced religion, organized religion, okay? There's a set of scriptures you're supposed to follow, a set of practices you're supposed to follow. There's only certain people, there's a hierarchy of how you could get to access to the divine. Okay? It's a very structured, logical, hierarchical existence. If you connect to this, again, when I say state of consciousness, when you come into a different way of walking around the world and seeing things and feeling things and thinking about things, which is all a state of consciousness is, you come to see that and I think we're coming to see, as we're seeing with the Catholic religion that's falling apart right now and the decreased um, attendance at church these days, um, something has happened where people are no longer finding that useful to help them deal with what's happening in the world today. We have a different world than, th than there was back then and it may have been useful to have those practices. There's a new type of way of experiencing the world and connecting with what we call divine energy that's needed now. Uh, live here at the home and the host of the Chapel of the Divine Mother with uh, Kelly Rainwater. And, um, and it's just been a tremendous gift to um, um, be a part of creating a sanctuary for the soul for women, for um, that we were able to find this incredible home, um, and uh, as we found it, it also became very apparent that um, 
I think the reason we found it was because there's a space for the chapel here and uh, we had both shared a vision for an outdoor chapel and um, I think it really brings in um, so many different uh, elements, you know, the nature and um, the, the wisdom and um, I don't know, just the journey into the property even. Uh, it's kind of like a journey into, um, I don't know, into the spiritual heart, into Mother Earth. And um, yeah, I just feel incredibly blessed to uh, be a part of it. My name is Sara Astarte. My last name is for the goddess Astarte. She is the goddess of love and war. Patriarchy is a social and political system in which there is hierarchy, there is oppression, there is repression of the feminine, and there is repression of a healthy balance between genders, between energies, between people. And a very small elite group of people are favored and are granted power, whereas everyone else has to suffer and be oppressed by that power. That's not what masculinity is. Masculinity is one gender of energy, of way of being, as is femininity. And there's, some people have a belief that there's a spectrum, and some people believe that gender is fluid. So rather than focusing on the different categories, I'd like to just say that we are what we are. And if we'd like to use certain words to define and understand that, we can. Otherwise, we don't have to. But that all forms of life all ways of being are sacred, that each person has their own relationship with the divine, they have their own conceptualization of that, they have their own way of connecting, they have their own way of practicing, and that's what's important. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me so love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. My name is Stephanie Goldstein. I really feel like just a vessel for the music. I feel like the goddess or the divine mother or whatever you want to put, however you want to put it, is just created through me. I, um, I, and I don't feel like it's really coming from me. I feel like I'm just the vessel. And it's really an amazing experience. And I feel really blessed to um, to be the, the conduit for it, and um, it's really a beautiful thing. My name is Michelle Victoria, and let's see, I came to meet Kelly in Santa Fe, where we both were living at the time, and we immediately felt a sisterhood between us. Last period of time, I think really since Kelly mentioned that there was going to be this opportunity to share what my experiences had been, to really sit and think about it. And I thought, okay, that was this sense of the divine. And it certainly didn't match any male, patriarchal, hierarchical system. And to me, that's the feminine way, that there's an embracing of everything. And from the time when I was young, that had been the way I was. I'd never differentiated between love. Love was love, and I couldn't understand how people would say, this kind of love is okay and that kind of love isn't okay. To me, it was pure love. And what form that took, it was just whatever form it was. And so in thinking back, I've, I came to realize that my life in many ways had been guided by this feminine principle, but I didn't have a name to it. I'm learning about the Divine Mother. 
and tell me what you've learned. Um, I've learned to care for um, other spirits that are no longer on this earth, but I already knew that with um, my cat, Felix. I really cared about Felix. Did he come to you in dreams? Um, no, but I was hoping. And that just really makes me not only care for Felix, but for everybody else that's died.